Yes, yes, we're asking on Disco Beer Review with me, Disco, coming at you with another beer video from in front of the cans and bottles. Here on the bar, I'm still loosely describing as the Disco Arms. Just a quick unboxing video for you today. As I said in my last video, uh, I've been seems to have been hunting in supermarkets for beers uh, a little bit too much recently, uh, mostly because it's beers I've seen I wanted to try, uh, and also well, trying to keep costs down a little bit, to be fair. Um, but in order to readjust the balance, uh, I saw a beer this week that I just really had to get in. So uh, I placed an order uh, early part of the week and it arrived in proper decent time. And it is a box from a Cloak and Dagger Brewery. They are down in Sussex, uh, uh, in Worthing, down on the south coast. Uh, it's a brewery I've been aware of before, uh, but never quite got around to trying any of the beers. In fact, uh, there's one specific beer that I think I've seen before. Uh, but place the order for uh, specifically this week. Uh, nicely branded and decorated box, uh, which I think is reflected in the cans as well. Uh, so let's get into it, show you what we've got. Uh, so you need to the channel, I haven't had anything from Cloak and Dagger before. Oh, that's handy, nice. Uh, start off with uh, some beer mats which shows you the kind of artwork we're dealing with. Uh, it's also reflected on the cans. Uh, the Get Busy Committee. I don't know what that's about, but it sounds kind of fun. Uh, we shall put them up there. And let's get into the beers. And the first one up... Oh, that's handy. The first one up is the very reason for the order. A beer called Never Dug Disco. Can you see why I ordered it? Uh, if you haven't seen before, yes, um, I have this random weird preoccupation uh, with collecting beers with Disco in the name uh, for a little side project I called the Disco Collection. Uh, I've done it four or five different days. I collect them all together, drink them all in the same day uh, for the postings. Uh, and this year is no different. I'm assembling a small collection. I've only got uh, two or three in the stash at the moment. This one, please to add to it. It is a... New England IPA at 5%. Not my favourite kind of beer. I do get tired of saying on this channel, but I do always try them. And the thing with the disco beer is it makes me try it. It makes me try these styles that probably wouldn't necessarily gravitate to. Uh, again, loving the can artwork, uh, bright colours, uh, some funky designs. So loving a bit of that. Uh, looking forward to trying that one. Uh, now, Gigantic Antics is the next one, a lemon and lime sour, 3.5%. I think, again, I said on my recent sour video that, again, sour is not always my thing, uh, except for when it comes to lemon and lime, because I just prefer that sort of natural sourness taste uh, in them, so uh, pleased to try that one. Uh, then, a Constant Elevation, this one is called, uh, a 4.8% Heller's Lager. Uh, been getting into different lager styles a fair bit recently and Heller's is probably one of my favourite I think so I've got a couple of them in <laughs> just remember that <laughs> I've ordered pairs I normally order beers in pairs and I have mostly done this one uh, apart from the sour I've just got a single one in and that uh, and this one also is a single one it's called Lazy Hustle uh, it's a 4.5% Saison now, Saison's, again, not everybody's uh, particularly favourite beer style, but it's one, actually, I do like trying. Um, I don't know why it kind of sits uh, well for me. Uh, I actually love green and black. Uh, and I love stuff that's green, weirdly. So, I uh, like that kind of, kind of artwork. Uh, right, this one up is uh, We All Float. Oatmeal stout, 4.8%, as you all know. I love a good stout. As... Yep, just checking the writing on the back there. A uh, very colourful box of beers we've got here. Aha, uh -huh, and then there's the big one, Jack in the Basket. 9.5% Imperial stout. Again, really oddly like the diamond shapes on the artwork on that one. Uh, right, that's me, uh, that's me other never, never dug disco. 
and that's my other oatmeal stout. So yeah, not a massive order. Apologies to that for uh, cloak and dagger, um, but really pleased to get hold of this uh, little selection. Uh, I'm not sure when the next uh, disco day is for the next bit of the disco collection. I've got another one I'm trying to get hold of uh, from Workshire Brewing. They've got a beer called Disco Paradiso, so I want to get hold of that one before I do that. Uh, and I'd like uh, one or two others if I see any uh, about. If you see any disco beers, do give us a shout, uh, either on here or on the socials, uh, Instagram or Twitter. Uh, I'm always pleased to take uh, recommendations for other uh, beers with disco in the name just because it's a nickname from 20 years ago down the pub and I kind of stick with it for now so that's my cloak and dagger or order uh, massive thanks to them for getting up uh, getting out pretty swiftly I look forward to diving in and getting some on the channel uh, let's know what you think comments in the description please like and subscribe and all that Viva Bandana